funky. Hey guys, welcome to Marche's Mirror. I'm Marche, and in today's video, I have my first story time where I tell you guys about the time that a hairstylist told me I had bad hair. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's go. Alright, so the story time starts around, let's say, August. 2019 actually june july august 2019 i was in my best friend's wedding tony hey girl and she had finally picked a bridesmaid's hairstyle which was the sleek back ponytail i will insert some of the pictures we have from the wedding a slick back ponytail that's kind of a trend right now you know super sleek with the bang and the ponytail there was me and one other bridesmaids who um had recently cut our hair and our hair was short, so we had all agreed. Well, I knew I was going to try to grow my hair out leading up to the wedding to see how long it could get. Like, maybe I could get the ponytail. Um, and so the other girl tried to do the same thing, but she had shaved her sides in her back. So we already knew her hair was only going to give us so long by the time of the wedding. I think we were three, four months out from the wedding. So me, her, and Tony had agreed that a possible option were dry waves which is kind of like finger waves except they wave your hair they straighten your hair and curl it and then wave it with the comb so that it's dry we thought that that would mesh well with the sleek ponytail so the other bridesmaid went and attempted the style at a hair salon she said she didn't like it. she sent me videos and footage um and she was like that was a fail so i said i'm gonna find somebody and i'm gonna try too so i was doing my research asking around for hairstylists that did dry waves the ones that i found on instagram of course they were never here in the dmv area and i know a girl who always has finger waves so i hit her up and asked for who does her hair so when i went to the lady i had a consultation first um obviously i had my hair in a wash and go and she like completely loved my hair kept complimenting it compliment what complimenting my hair and um just kind of i had inspiration photos i always take photos now when i go get my hair done um i had inspiration photos i was telling her my situation how i was in a wedding and how it was soon by this point it was about august so my consultation i would have needed an appointment the next week to attempt and then like two weeks later we were going to need our hair done for the wedding so we get to talking she's touching my hair she's like i can do it um still she she spent a lot of focus on my hair in its natural state saying how pretty it was and how it was so curly and what do i use and what products da, da, da. so i was like okay let's make an appointment something was off with the initial consultation because i thought it was weird that she like showed she didn't show much interest in the hairstyle that i was trying to get um, we, I mean, we talked about it, but she was more fascinated with my natural hair, which I just thought was admiration. Like, I thought my, I mean, my hair looked good, so it was nothing to it, right? Well, I come back a week later for my appointment. Mind you, the day I had my appointment with her, I had my birthday photo shoot, the butterfly photos that are on my Instagram. I had that shoot that morning. Like, <laughs> I think the report time for that photo shoot might have been... 6 a.m so i had that photo shoot that morning so my hair was fresh i had done my hair the night before so the day i went to get my hair done i had like a day one wash and go so it was like really nice as soon as i get to her and my face is done right because i left the photo shoot my face is done my hair is done as soon as i get there she starts doting on my hair there's other women in the salon she gets them into it they're asking me what i use they are um talking to me about my hair when I cut it who cuts it who styles it who does my hair da 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 when it gets closer to my turn she says oh my god your hair is so beautiful are you sure you want to damage it if I could have a little voice you know like on inside out the people in my head would have been like 
I said, I don't want to damage my hair. She was like, I mean, I know, but you're straightening your hair to do this style. You're going to damage your hair. And it was at that point that I fucked up because I should have walked away. I should have said, you know what? You're right. <laughs> and just not done it. But nonetheless, I stayed. So it gets time. Sorry. So I should have left when she said, you sure you want to damage your hair? But nonetheless, I stayed. So I get to, it's my turn to go to the wash bowl. She's also washing my hair. She look, works in one of those suites. So she was doing everything. She was the wash girl and the stylist. So she gets to wash in my hair. As I'm literally, y'all, as I'm leaning my head back into the sink, she's still talking about how beautiful my hair is and how the texture is amazing. And like these products that I use must really love my hair. Y'all, the minute water touched my hair, she goes, oh my God. Those products must really agree with your hair because your texture is nothing like what I thought it was. And in my head, again, the people in my head, work with me, y'all, use my imagination. The people in my head are like, what? Sadness is like, oh my God. Angry is like, what the heck did she just say about us? Happiness is like, is she trying to come for us? Like, what? So she's washing my hair, y'all. Still talking about how the texture of my hair is nothing like what she thought it was. She was like, I mean, you know, she was like, I'm not saying you have bad hair, but like your hair, when you walked in, I just thought it was like a different texture. I thought it was like thinner and silkier. And the products you use must like really agree with your hair because it acts totally different now that it's washed. Like, am I supposed to say thank you or like, I was still trying to figure out if I was being insulted or not because I honestly couldn't tell. So after she washes my hair, she puts a treatment in and everything. We it's time to blow dry, right? Now, people didn't believe me when I said that although my hair was short, I still had a lot of hair on my head. My hair is very thick. I have like my, what? I promise I can tell, I promise. My hair strands are thin, but there's a lot of them on my head. So the density of my hair is thick, like full. It's a lot. Or high. That's what I'm looking for. The density of my hair is high. The thickness of my strands is low. So my strands themselves are thin, but there's a lot of hair on my head. So she gets to move, like, you know, section in my hair. She's like, oh my God, you have way more hair than I thought you had. Did we not have a consultation and did you not put your fingers in my head? I'm so confused. My hair didn't go from thin to thick. It went from curly to wet. Like, what? So she started blow drying my hair. Now she's talking about how long it's going to take for her to blow dry my hair because it's just not the same texture she thought it was when I walked in. So I'm just like, at this point, give me the blow dryer and let me blow dry it myself. So by this point, of course, I'm texting my friends and my sister and my mom like, I'm not feeling confident. I'm texting Tony like, I don't think it's going to come out right. She's like, well, send me pictures when you finish. You know, trying to keep me hopeful because it's not a good feeling sitting in a chair getting your hair done. And you're not sure what it's going to look like. You're not confident. So nonetheless, I thug it out. And she's blow drying it, which took forever. Literally forever. So by this point, my confidence in her is probably like 50%. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate it. So she gets to straightening my hair and she brings up again how she can't believe I was willing to damage my hair for a wedding. And so by this point, I really wanted to get up and walk away, but she had done stuff. So I still would have had to pay anyway. So I'm just like, honestly, I'm letting her talk. Like I've tapped out. I'm not, I'm hitting her with the, mm-hmm. So we get the going. By the time it's time for her to like start flipping my hair, I already know that it's not, I can tell that she's not confident in what she's doing. She, once you've, once you've getting your hair done a certain amount of times, you can start to under, you can start by different people. Let me add that, by various people. Cause there are some black women who, when we find a hairstylist, we don't leave. I was never really one of those girls I've had like stylists that I've gone to for a period of time, but I've, the only consistent stylist I've ever had in my life is my mama. <laughs> 
and so I can tell when someone is unsure what they're doing so she gets the flipping and she's having to do pieces over and over again and I can feel her like trying to wave it and it not working but anyway she and then she goes quiet now she's quiet she's focused so she pins it puts the um y'all know the paper that you use to mold your hair she puts that on my hair and she sits me under the dryer she puts spritz on the outside of it imagine like um like a fried donut or something so it's like hard on the outside but inside my hair like if you stuck your fingers in it, it was soft I hope I can find the pictures of it that I sent Tony because I literally only took pictures to show that it was a fail to her and Bria, the other bridesmaid. So when she finishes, her face is telling me that it's wrong. I know it's wrong. We both know that this was a fail and that at this point, I feel like my hair is damaged because she had said at least four times, I can't believe you're damaging your hair for a wedding. And already insulted the texture of my hair she just kept saying how like your hair is so different than what it looks like when it's curly i don't really know what that means but i'm assuming it's because my hair really gets really defined with the products that i use and my hair is naturally frizzy af but my hair doesn't go from good to bad or i guess in her words good hair to nappy hair like what anywho I was irritated because at this point I wasted a chunk of my life that I was never going to get back for a hair fail. It didn't, it looked like, um, it would have been cute if I was doing like an old time photo shoot because it looked like I stepped out of like the 60s and it just was all bad. Like I paid her and I left. I called everybody in the car and was just like, oh, and I had a wedding to go to that afternoon, that evening. And now I hate my hair. So at one point, I was like, I'm not going to the wedding. I was going with my parents. And they were like, you're going. So I had to figure it out. I made it work for the event. But it literally, by the end of that night, it was done. It didn't even last. So I damaged my hair. Went to her. Basically got insulted for nothing. Because it didn't even last 24 hours. The next day, I ended up washing my hair and styling it. Thank God I didn't have heat damage. Um, That was just God on my side. So I ended up just asking tony could i wear my hair natural and she was just like yeah <laughs> like i don't care like you're gonna look beautiful regardless so me and the other bridesmaid ended up wearing our hair natural for the wedding and it was beautiful tony was a beautiful bride it was a beautiful day and it just turned out to be a success thank god after we both had hair fails trying to achieve this style that at the end of the day neither of us wore but it was all in fun and no harm, no foul. But it was definitely an interesting hair experience for me and a texture, like, what am I trying to say? Like a natural hair experience or a revelation for me that as black people, we still categorize things ourselves. And the good hair, bad hair debate, I was never really in um, until recently. And it's not a compliment to say someone has good hair or bad hair or talking about their texture there's ways to talk about talk about it but um let's just all learn to love our hair that comes out our scalp it's amazing it's beautiful it's brave and you're beautiful you're deserving your hair is amazing and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my first story time about being told i have bad hair um i hope you guys like this video let me know if you guys want more story times let me know if you guys want more story times. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Support is free. Bye. Love y'all.